Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, last time we did some body work and we painted this thing and it's looking pretty sweet in my opinion. Uh, so today I kind of want to stick away from, uh, stick away, uh, steer away from actually doing any body work. Uh, I know we'll probably keep doing some more as the series goes on, uh, but today uh, we, we really need to get in here and we need these, we need these to work. We need our control surface, our control surfaces. I can't even talk today, you guys. We need our gauges and instruments to work. Uh, we need to know how fast we're going, how high we are up in the air, uh, how much fuel we have, all sorts of things. So guys, let's get this thing back to the workbench and let's start fixing this up. Uh, we've got a lot to do here today, so let's go ahead and get it done. Uh, before you do, make sure you smash a like on this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It does help us out a whole lot over here. Yeah, let's get started. All right, I've got it in the workbench here. Uh, let's scoot on in here to the dash here. Uh, first things first, let's um, kind of want to keep some stuff separate. So maybe what we'll do over here is I've got an idea. Let's copy one of these and we'll put that here. Uh, we'll come back to you in just a minute. Uh, what I want to do here is let's start down on this, maybe this bottom one here. Uh, the first one's going to be, let's see, let's go ahead and make that a flip switch and we'll call this our main power. Main power, uh, the one to the right of it, uh, we'll call that our starter. And this is where you guys see me really excel at spelling here. Starter, there we go. Uh, and we want this to be a button uh, on push, panel two, that works. Uh, let's see, uh, the next two, I'm not sure what we need here. Uh, we'll need some pumps, uh, probably need some pumps. And that'll probably be for the pumps on our exterior wings here uh, when we come in and actually fix those and make that so that we can actually carry fuel, fuel pods on the uh, the exterior here. And that's going to be needed to make it further distances. And there'll be pumps in here that need to be turned on to pull said fuel from those pods into our actual engine. Uh, so that can also be a, let's see, that could be a flip switch as well. And what do we have left? Uh, this bottom one here. I can't remember what else we had here. Uh, ah, let's do this. Let's put our gyro on here. And we'll also put that on a flip switch. Uh, so that should be good to go there. Um, so let's see, what else do we need here? We need to move up to here. I say we do altitude. And most planes do a thousand. We'll do a hundred just so we can actually see this thing move in game. Uh, we'll go to zero there. Uh, speed. I didn't want to know how fast we're going, and we will be doing this in knots. We are a flying vessel. Uh, let's do that. Just bracket it off a little bit. Minimum value, we'll do a zero again, and I doubt that we'll be doing 200, but we'll make 200 the max. Let's move this over to channel two. Uh, let's see, instrument three, uh, we will add you to fuel. Try that again, fuel. Um, I doubt we have a thousand. Uh, I'm just gonna put a thousand there until we figure out what we do have. Uh, that should be channel three. Uh, and one more, uh, this should be our battery. Battery, battery. Uh, and we'll do the same thing here with a zero and we'll do a 100 and we'll put a conversion block in there to get that percentage right. Uh, and that will be channel four. Uh, so those are good to go. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Um, I'm sure we'll have some more that comes in. This guy here, this here is gonna be our, our launch control. So I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come up with a, where is it, a bar segment? And I want this to go, go left here. Uh, we're gonna do it on off and we're gonna start this on channel one. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing on this second one here. I want a bar segment. Uh, we're gonna do the on off. I want this to go to the right. And I think we'll just set this on 10 for now. Uh, each bar segment has eight channels in it. Uh, so this will give us one through eight, and then this will give us 10 through 17. Uh, so there will be a little gap in here between what channels aren't used, but then it's no problem there. Uh, so then this here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a arrow button. I want this to toggle. Uh, I want that to go left. And this will be channel, let's see, I said 70. So we'll come on down to 20, uh, just for ease of remembering what some of these are. 
So we'll make this one 21, and I swear all of this will make sense in a minute. Uh, let's go with another bar segment, and we want this to go to the right with an off signal. On off, right? No, wait, we've already done that. Bar segment, bar segment. This needs to be arrow button. And we want this to go to the right with a toggle. Okay, so what this is going to do here, and I'll uh, we're going to paint this up, and then you guys can see what's going on here. Uh, my goal here is that this and this will arm the left and right hard points. Uh, so once those are activated, then you will be able to fire off each one of these individually. Now we added two more of those hard points because there's eight segments here. So each one of these segments, as they fire off, or as we fire a missile, say we're using it for attack runs, uh, these little bars will disappear. So we will know exactly what missiles are where and how many of them we have shot off. Uh, so that will be done there. Um, do we want red as the interior? Uh, do we do red gauges? Uh, let's do red gauges. Why not? Um, do red gauges on everything. We might change that up. Uh, let's do green for our starter button, just because that's only going to be on as we're pushing it. Uh, we can come down here. This can be red as we activate. Uh, so all that looks pretty good. Uh, I need to start grabbing the microcontrollers here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one that I've made myself. And this one's kind of just a pre-made one. And it allows me to do almost all the instruments on an instrument panel here. So we'll have to kind of do some work to it. Uh, so we're going to plop that down. That's going to be our gauges. Uh, this one here will be for our starters. And this one here is about three microcontrollers and they're just massive and I'll have to drag those in from another build that I was working on just trying to figure out how to get that even working. Uh, so let's get into this one first. Uh, first, we're going to grab, uh, let's hook up our component. We want component to hook up. Uh, so let's find our starter button here. We'll go there. We can go back into it, even though I don't think we need to. We'll do the same thing up here. Radio. Oh, uh, yeah, we did put a radio in there. And, you know, I talked about deleting this stuff and putting that somewhere else and maybe adding batteries to that. So, you know what? Let me go ahead and do that right now. Get rid of that. We'll put all this little equipment back. Uh, we can throw more weight up here in the front. Then I won't be confused by what those are. Uh, okay. So let's get components. Uh, let's hook up components on the outside of this here. On the right one, instrument panel, instrument controller, instrument control. Okay. In we go. And now that I'm thinking about it, the, the wing might not have been the best spot to set those because they don't have any uh, access points there are right here. Okay, so starter, 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 starter is going to be number two. So let's figure this out. Which one are we attached to here, this bottom one? All right, let's remember what this is. This is going to be starter. Nope, we got main power, starter, pumps, and gyro. So all of those are going to be good old fashioned on off inputs. All right, so that's that. Let's do this, we'll do this, we'll do this and this, clean these up. Uh, we can go ahead and label these. We'll do start, starter, starter, starter's close enough. That works for me. Uh, we'll do main here, we'll do pumps. And where's our other one? Here we go, gyro, right, gyro. All right, that works. Let's get into our logic here. Uh, as you can see, it's already kind of set up for me here, so I just got to find the right ones. Uh, we already come over here. These guys. All right, so input one was our main. Uh, input two was our starter. Input three was pumps. Input four was our gyro. And we're just bringing those into a composite write, um, and I just hooked them into a composite write number. Uh, that doesn't matter, because they just reads composite through composite. And then we're going to add that to our composite output. Um, and we don't need any of this other stuff. This is all for composite in. Uh, this is all comp composite reads. Uh, this here is for our bar segments. So it's all set up here. So all I got to do is when I plug something in, it's all, all I got to do is just hook it up. So it's easy to easy peasy, lemon squeezy kind of stuff. Uh, let's update this. Update the microcontroller. That should be done there. Uh, now we got to figure this one out. This can be a bunch of numbers here for this guy. Uh, how did we do this one? We did altitude, speed, and then fuel and battery. Altitude, speed, fuel, battery. All right, so we'll add four here. We're going to change them up to numbers. Numbers, 
numbers and numbers. Uh, and these are actually going to be outputs. No, inputs. No, outputs. What do, we, what do we need here? We need, hang on, let's move these out of the way. First of all, let me label them. Uh, we've got speed, altitude. Uh, what else do we have? We had fuel and batteries. Battery with two Ts. All right, uh, and those need, yeah, those need to be inputs because uh, we're reading from the actual devices here. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing here. We're just gonna come up to our composite read. Uh, we can go ahead and hook up our composite here. Uh, oop, get you there. Uh, so let's see, what was first? First we had altitude, then it was speed, battery, and fuel. No, it was fuel and battery. Uh, so we can do that to one, two, three, fuel, fuel, <laughs> three and fuel. Uh, let's update that. That should be good. Uh, those microcontrollers are done now. Um, so we should have some control here. Uh, so now let's hook these guys up. Um, let's see. I gotta remember what these all are. Speed, speed is, we don't have that yet. Uh, fuel, do we have a fuel meter? Uh, did I put a fuel meter in here? Fuel, uh, fuel level, uh, fuel, fuel, fuel. Uh, where's our batteries at? Uh, all I need is one. Uh, here we go, battery to there. Altitude and speed. Okay, so we'll need an altimeter. You know what, let's put this in our nose. Uh, Actually, do we have a spot here that we could protect it? Uh, let's do this. Let's put it right there, as close to the ground as possible so we get as accurate a reading as we can here. All right, we'll close that back up. Uh, so we got altitude. Uh, we can bring that up into altitude. Perfect. Uh, let's go with a function block. Uh, we'll put that right here for the time being. We're gonna come inside here. Uh, we want to convert this, so we're gonna do X times one point something, is it 1.8, And this will convert our uh, our milliseconds into knots here for us. Perfect. All right, so now we need speed, speedo, speed, 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 bed, speed. Uh, we want linear speed. I guess we can come in here as well with the same kind of, same kind of idea here. Uh, we'll make that our speedo. Flip this around, hide that there. Uh, looks like we need to paint our floor back here a little bit. Uh, no worries, paint you. Come on, paint, paint, come on. Really, paint, there we go. Helps to actually go inside there. All right, so we got our speed. Uh, let's get that to our function block here. Uh, let's see, linear speed into our function and out to speed on the dash. Did I even spell it right there? Yeah, speed, altimeter. There we go, there we go. Okay, so now we gotta hook all this up. So gyro, these are all wrong. This is wrong. These need to be outputs, not inputs. So I've messed this up. Let's go back, let's fix these. That's an easy fix, easy fix. Uh, we'll come back over here to our logic. Um, output, 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 and output. All right, so then we gotta come fix it over here because all that's wrong, but that's all right because we can just slide it down over to here. Then we got channel one's our main, channel two is our starter, our pumps, and our gyro. And we'll just hook it up here. Doot, 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 and doot. Awesome. Uh, update that, update that. Now, let's see, gyro is where gyro goes here. What's next? Uh, we got our starter. Uh, that's gonna come to engine, engine, uh, main power, main power. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We do a relay. We got a lot of stuff on the wing here. A lot of stuff on the wing here. Okay, so we get a relay down, and what a relay does is it runs electricity through it. Uh, let's see, main. It runs electricity through it, but it will not complete the circuit until you have flipped a switch. Uh, so what we could actually do is unhook everything that we have now from, let's see, all of these gauges. Do all that right, all that's right. Unhook all of this. Nothing should work until that main is flipped. And we'll get all this unhooked and rehook it back up. Actually, legs need to have power so they work uh, prior to 
us spawning in. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so one side comes from... Actually, we need to unhook all these two. Uh, all right, so everything's unhooked uh, other than our legs here. And let's unhook our throttle. Uh, does that look everything? Everything's right. What is this? Sonar, we're going to unhook you. All right, so now we've just got our battery loop here. Uh, we're going to come from that. We're going to go straight into one side. Actually, let's go into the A side just to keep things somewhat normal here. Uh, so we got A. And then everything that comes out of B is going to be what you would bring out of your battery. Uh, so that's going to be all your gauges here. We'll hook all those back up. But none of those gauges should turn on until we hit the switch. Uh, that shouldn't work. And honestly, actually, this one needs to be unhooked. And that needs to be a straight to the battery as well, because otherwise it's never going to work to begin with. Uh, so from there, we can hook up gyro, engine, gearboxes. Sludge, fans, all of it. You name it. Boom, boom, boom. Ailerons, rudder, radar, sonar. All of that can now be hooked up. And we can hook up all of our hard points. All right. Those are all done. That should be all good. Let me spawn this in real quick. Let's see if this actually works the way I'd like it to. Uh, and then we'll see what kind of fixes we need to make and where we're going to hide those guys. Okay, so the light is active, but because we don't have power on the engines, nothing works. Uh, so from there, let's see, nothing works there. Uh, let's see, altitude four, not moving any speed, battery's good, 3,000 liters of fuel. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good considering. Uh, so gyro pumps, main power. Now we have starting. That's good. I'm not sure why we're going backwards here. Um... Gyro just slammed us down in the ground. Um, something's not hooked up right there. Let's start to figure that out. Uh, let's see here. Gyro has power. Uh, is, it, is it hooked up right? Yeah, it's hooked up right. Interesting why we're all of a sudden we're going backwards here. Uh, going backwards and it's like there's no gyro hooked up. Um, fans run when we're sitting in the seat. Uh, I guess we need to have all our backlights hooked up here. Backlight, backlight. That'll get rid of some of those error messages for us. Awesome. Um, we got to hook those up. Monitors. Well, it does turn on. I'm just curious as why it's not working correctly. Uh, let's see. Let's get the. Let's hide this stuff real quick. Let's see where can we hide some of you guys? I think the first one we can go right here with it. Uh, it should just uh, sit snugly right in here. Place that one there. Perfect. Uh, let's grab this one. Do the same thing, but we'll just put it on the other side here. Actually, we can go quite forward with that as well. So paste that. Uh, let's come back over here and move this one forward, just the two. That gives us more room to have others in the way. Clear, cut, move that forward, paste that. We can't see that underneath. No, we can't. Uh, let's merge those together. That, come on, merge. All right, perfect. Uh, let me paint this. Nicely done. Okay, let's get this little guy here in out of the way. Uh, he's hooked up to this side, so we'll put him over here with this guy here. Uh, flip him over. Paste. Is there nothing to connect to, really? So weird that it does that sometimes. Uh, let's see. Don't forget to paint you. Good to go. And now we got to stick this relay somewhere. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We can make it part of the build. Go it off a little bit, just uh, so we don't not just blocky everything. Uh, so let's do that. Let's cut you. We move you here, move you here. Actually, if I can not show it off and hide it here, this would actually be really good. Um, hide it there. And is that one? Oh, that's going to show off right in the middle. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do it. Why not? Paste, merge. It says I was going to show it off. Uh, let's see. Let's paint around this. There you go. You don't even really know what it is, but that's our relay uh, tucked in there. Nice. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm not sure what to do here. This I got to pull from another build. Um, let's do that. Uh, let me go grab those, and then those should be hooked up and good to go. And I think what I can do here is actually, because those are some big microcontrollers, uh, let me do this. Let me cut here, cut here. I want to cut all of this out as well as that. We're going to cut this and bring this forward. Uh, so our seating area is still just nice and a little snug, but that gives us this big, huge area here to work with. 
because uh, we need some room for microcontrollers. We really do. Um, so let me paste that. Paste it. Merge it. Um, let's do this up here. Now I can come in here and we'll just wall this off and that should close up our area here. Nicely done, nicely done. I don't think anything is behind that. Nice, what's there? Okay, so now I got an idea of where our microcontrollers can go. So let's, uh, let me save this. I'm gonna go grab those microcontrollers uh, and I'm gonna slap those into here. All right, just to show you what we got going here, um, these, these are the actual sizes of the microcontrollers that I've got to slap in here. Uh, for this and it's it's a lot going on. Um, if you guys have a better way to do this, please, 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 please let me know. Uh, but we've got 18 inputs here. Uh, so the idea is that we've we've got a fire button, but nothing works. Uh, nothing works until you flip the uh, until you arm until you arm it. Uh, once you've armed it, then you have the option of firing, and it will fire from the outside in. Uh, so you know, there you go. You're releasing rockets or whatever else you want to get rid of, and as you can see, it disappears here. I'm gonna spawn it in one more time so you guys can see that. Let me get over here. All right, let's say we only wanna arm one side. We don't wanna send off, uh, we're not sending off double rockets. So we're just gonna send off the one side there. And you can see it's counting down as the rockets are gone. So you know how many you have. Now you know you need to flip over, cut off your next eight. These could be bombs, rockets, whatever you want. Uh, so let me get these microcontrollers. Um, these are kind of crazy here. Uh, I will I will jump into them real quick just so you can see what's going on, uh, and that way you can pause on them and copy them. It's it was just a little bit. It's a bunch of ands, a bunch of and gates. Uh, so let's see. Let's get into the first one here. Uh, coming from our switch, uh, this is going to be our our fire button. It comes in here and releases. Uh, all all it is is coming here and saying, uh, fire, 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 and fire. Uh, what we've got here is an arm left and an arm right that also comes in here. And what we've done in this microcontroller is it will not fire unless the arm is on and the fire button is done to there. So we've got an AND gate. We've got to push the toggle or a toggle to push here uh, coming off of our button um, up down counter so that it just goes through each one of these uh, individually. Uh, we haven't done anything else to it other than an increment of one. Uh, and on our thresholds, we've just got we've got them numbered. Uh, simple as that. Uh, let me. Let me Sit in right here, let you guys pause right there. Uh, that is the release mechanism. All right, so now let's go into, oops, let's go into this build, this guy here. What we got going on here is a, oh, we don't even need that. That's, that's something else. We've got a lot more going on. Uh, we've got composite coming in for our bar segments. Uh, your bar segments are these two top ones that come in. I mean, there's, there's a lot going on, a lot of ands. Uh, each increment of the for each outside, let's see, eight left, seven left. So it comes works its way from the inside out. Uh, thing is with hard points, uh, let me back out of here real quick. Hard points have an actual number to them. Uh, so if you click on one of them, right now I have it as radar guided missile, but if you have it as utility, utility is zero. Fuel is one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so on. And where that translates is to right here. Uh, it translates into our ordinance type. So all I've got is this threshold set up as one through, I think it was 20, I think I had it set up, so that anytime it drops something from here, it will recognize a zero and make this bar go off. Now, utility is zero. So if you have something here set up as utility, you're not gonna see it marked. Um, I just don't see a way around that. Uh, maybe you guys can see a way around that and maybe help me out with that, but that's how it's kind of set up right now. So each one of those is an input that's coming in from here that recognizes a number from one through 20. And then it just goes in and composites into here. That's all it really does. It's, it's quite simple. It's just a bunch of ands. Uh, so let me grab these. Uh, hopefully I haven't confused anybody now with this. Uh, let's grab that. Uh, let's see. You know what? I might actually copy and paste all of this. This might be easier. It might be easier just to copy and paste this entire thing into it. Uh, let's do that. Because then I don't have to redo any of my connections. Not have to worry about all that. Uh, so let's do that. Let's resize this. Is that everything? That is everything. We don't need the battery. Uh, whoops. Let me resize that. Let's go for that. That is everything. Let's copy that. I'm going to load in the new build, the, uh, the new helicopter build, and we'll get it posted in there. 
All right, so we've got it in here. I'm gonna rotate it the right way so this is already set up. So I can just kind of plug and play with this. This should be good. Uh, let's paste that. Uh, now we've got a spot for these guys here. So I'm gonna move those behind. We're gonna cut you out. We're gonna move you down. Hopefully I've got enough room back here. Uh, that looks like it could fit. Uh, let's see. Bring you forward one. Bring it, oh, on the wrong one there. Uh, we need to go down. We'll grab that. Uh, that looks good. That's uh, that's snug in there, so we'll paste that. Uh, let's get that merged. That's good. And I think these will actually be the backs to our chairs here. Um, so let's do that. That'll give us some some looky look. Some looky look. Some some nice some nice looks there. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Uh, let's see. Cut that. Let's slide that down. Rotate that. Let's flip that around. Get this into the seat position. Come on, why can't I move this? There we go, there we go. There we go, and down we go to one. There we, there. Does that look all right? That's uh, be one more. Uh, I think right there looks good. Uh, paste. Oh, we can see inside there now, though. Um, I don't know if I dig that. What if I come in here and add a block? What's back there? Nothing. Let's do this. Uh, we'll do that. Put that there. I don't know if I still like that. I don't know if that feels squishy enough for a seat. Uh, we'll leave it like it is. Maybe we'll change it later. All we gotta do is flip it because it does fit in that spot. Uh, let's grab that. Slide this down and over. Flip it a couple times on the right axis. Let's bring it down, down, down. Bring it over. Is that the right way? Is that the right way? I don't know. Um, like that, I guess. Uh, let's do it like that. And then, you know what? We can do this, this. That'll make it look more padded. Uh, and then we need to paint those. So let's paint those up. Paint them up gray. Nicely done. Okay, so then all we have to do is actually plop this into uh, our spot here and then put these on the wings. And then we can just give uh, like button one on our seat, uh, our fire control. And that should be good here. Um, yeah, let's uh let's get that done. Let's copy that, or excuse me, cut that. We're gonna come over here into our console, bring it on down. We're already painted up and ready to go. And I've got switches there. I might, I might switch those up. Oh, that'd be pretty easy to do. Um, let's see, merge. Yeah, I like the uh, the left and right buttons better. So let's do that. Uh, let's see, flip switch, arrow button, and we want that to go left. That'll be a toggle. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll do arrow button to the right on a toggle. Uh, perfect, uh, other than the fact that it's not painted. Uh, let's paint that, paint that, paint that red, this gray. All right, cool. Um, so I don't need this button. I need to get these into the wings. Uh, so let's do that. Let's, da, 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 da. Where, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this thing. Uh, clear content, copy that. We want all this, we want all that. And then we'll have hard points just set up and ready to go here too, which will be nice. Uh, that'll be really nice. All right, so we'll move this over all the way over into here. Bring it down. Uh, I gotta make sure we're in the right spot here. Uh, we are one, two forward. Uh, is that it? Is that right? That is right. Uh, paste that. Let's do the same thing with this guy here. Copy all of this. Uh, that is all of it. We'll cut it, move it over. Get all that pushed over, push that back. How does that look? Does that look good? Uh, I think that's in there. All right, so now we need to come in here and merge that with that. Merge that with that. Uh, where do we want this fire button? Um, I think for the time being, until we decide what we're actually gonna do with it, uh, I'm going to actually use it. Uh, we're just gonna put it right underneath. Right underneath here. Uh, it makes sense. This makes sense there. But we'll do that. We'll paste that there. Merge it, of course. Uh, paint job. Paint job that. Paint job that. Ooh, all that needs to be black. Uh, yeah. Do that. Come on. Why is it not? Does not want to cooperate. We go. We'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, we can do the top of this black. And we'll go down a gray for this. Actually, you know what? It almost looks black anyway. Let's just keep it black. Was that black? That was black. 
he said light or gray. Um, uh, let's just go black. Not like it makes a difference. All right, there we go. Uh, dashboard set up. Uh, let's get in there and test this. Uh, we want to make you red real quick and see how this works. Clunk. Uh, you hear all those hard points snapping together. Nice. Uh, oh, we got to paint those. Got to paint those. Uh, easy fix real here real quick. Uh, we don't have anything that's white, so we'll just go ahead and replace the white color. Perfect. Here we go. Now we're set. Now we are set. Uh, let's see. Uh, no power. I need to power those up. Uh, and they shouldn't work anyway until we give ourselves main power as well. Uh, so where is our relay? Our relay is here. Uh, let's do this again. Uh, power, power, power. Power to the points here. And then power. Where am I going? Okay, power to here and here. I'm um, guessing that they also want to be occupied with a backlight. Is that everything? Backlight, backlight. Okay, so we don't have anything for these guys in here, but I think we might come up with something down the road. Uh, we also got to hook up our radar and our our navigation and stuff as well. Um, but that's that's going to be for another time. We are getting a little further into this video than I wanted to. Uh, let's get in here real quick. I want to paint up this a little darker. Uh, let's just do this. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. That's too dark. Uh, I wanted the brush. Uh, what happened here? What happened there? Now we lost that. Um, don't want it to be too dark in here, but darker than the rest of everything else. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's do that, that, that. Can I get back in there? Nope, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to trick it here. Let's see. There we go. Get inside there, get inside there. All that's done, 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 done. Let's get in here. You know, I kind of like this, this gray a lot better. Uh, it's not as bright. Uh, look at all this. Uh, ooh, nope. Can't do that. Uh, can't do that. Uh, that's all right. Uh, that's not a, not a problem at all. Um, looking good. I uh, feel like this needs to be black. There, there. Um, now I feel like this whole seat bottom here should be black as well. Just because. There we go. Uh, that looks good. Um, do we darken a seat? Do we darken the seat up? Yeah, why not? Let's have a dark seat. Um, yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be it. Uh, we've got quite a bit of our console done here. Uh, we still got a couple gauges here that we don't have anything hooked up to, and we don't have our radar and nav hooked up. Uh, but we are good to go on everything else. Uh, these aren't really necessary. They're just kind of extra spots here, but I'm sure we'll come up with something down the road. Uh, but we got the main things. We got our speed, altitude, fuel, batteries. Uh, we can start the thing, turn the gyros on, drop the weapons, fire the weapons, whatever we need. Uh, so we are good to go there. Uh, so guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, let's spawn it in. Let's get a good look at it here. Uh, make sure everything's painted up. Yep, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out to the end here with us. Uh, let's see. Main power. Arm. What? Oh, it is on. I just couldn't see, uh, because it's so bright. Ooh, we might need to, you know, I think the flip switch is... Wait, why is it not reading? It's always something. It's always something. Uh, let me fix this real quick. Uh, it was right here, guys. It was just, uh, the composite. Uh, we lost the composite hookup somehow. Uh, let's see if that fixed it. Did that fix it? Uh, power. That didn't fix it either? Oh my gosh, what is going on? What was the point of dragging it all over like that if it's not gonna work? Uh, composite to there, okay. Did we lose? Oh my gosh, we lost all of our connections to here and here and here and here. Oh, why? Why? Why is that a thing? What was the point of all that then? Um, okay, uh, let me hook those back up. I want this stuff to work, guys, before we end this video. All right, so uh, that didn't fix it. Uh, guys, I have no idea what's going on. I've crossed a wire somewhere here. I've probably been sitting here for 15, 20 minutes trying to figure this out. Um, I've crossed a wire somewhere. Um, gauges are done. Uh, I'll figure out what's wrong with that one dial. And it's there's there's an electrical issue. The, re the relay is doing something really weird. Obviously, we're upside down and we're spinning. 
Um, the relay is somehow working and not working every other time I spawn it in. So it is what it is. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you didn't make it this far, I appreciate you so much. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you throw a like on it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And guys, we'll see you in the next one when hopefully we've got everything figured out. Uh, all right, I did get it working. Uh, I literally had to just spawn the whole thing in again and then just repaste everything. So none of it's painted, uh, but it is working. You can see that they are armed up. They dropped the uh, armaments. Oh, I guess that one's not hooked up still. Uh, but they are working. Uh, so yeah, guys, I uh, did want to show you that I did get it working. It took me literally about an hour and a half of figuring it out to figure out what happened. Um, but I just want to let you know that I did figure it out. All right. So guys, see you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>